You know, War Trigger is getting pretty, pretty interesting with how they really want to break this anime up, which they do necessarily lead into this very interesting thing of them giving a lot of information about Yuma's father, uh, about him being one of the uh, by, about him being one of the foreign members of uh, of Border, and that Border itself is broken into three separate factions, and and that the idea of them stealing Yuma's um, black 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 trigger has not uh, it hasn't gone away yet. So pretty much we do have so pretty much the three factions that they do necessarily explain are the people who who will always hate neighbors and hate everything about them and all that craziness. You have the people down the middle who pretty much like their technology and pretty much they see them at, and they're like, and they're not, they're not so bad. We don't necessarily hate them, but their technology is something that, that, you know, is pretty interesting. And then there's the other ones, which this case, Jin and Osama pretty much fall under of they're okay. I can be friends with, uh, I don't, I, uh, some of them, they can be reasoned with, you know, all the bloodshed and everything. And also, it does lead lead into another explanation of that the neighbor world is just like ours. They have they have countries and continents, and from the people who that they abduct, they ought to put them in armies. They'll use them for weapon research. You know, it all depends on the country and what their and what their goals are. So that is a very interesting thing. However, however, I still kind of see that see that plan of them trying to steal Yuma's black black trigger. Not necessarily the wisest thing. However, Jin does po pose a very a very interesting plot point, or at least like a very interesting um, a very interesting solution, which is just just join the base, just join, and you know then. And they probably won't even have a reason to go ahead and kill you and take it. However, that does necessarily lead into the whole thing of the first branch. In this case, their fucking director, or at least like the main commander. You know, the main the main commander could necessarily turn his um thing down and say, yeah, no, I don't want that. But at the same time, it's like he's getting what what he wants. But at the same time, they still don't like neighbors for a reason that's still not necessarily posed. Pose aside from this country's machines, they did something to our world. Essentially, it's like a super patriot in this case of saying that they came over here and they destroyed and they destroyed some things. So I will never, never, ever, ever forgive them. And that's not really a right mentality to have. But you know, that's kind of how they're. That's kind of how the number one faction up on their side thinks. So that is what I have to say about that. What do you guys think about this episode? Do you think it was good, bad, all that? I think it was informative and pretty good and kind of giving me and kind of building up the the image of this world just, just a little bit more. So that is what I have to say about that. You guys, tell me down there in the comment section. I'll catch you guys on the next Night Grave Show. So please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I'm out.